What's up, guys? It's your boy Jamaica here coming at you with your deck tech. This is a uh, Boyd aggro. So, if you are fans of the show here, you'll know that I played this in season five. But uh, now, uh, season six, Gold Star played was uh, rotated out, and now it's back. So, I think I think the meta is in a right spot to play aggro right now. So, I vibe this deck and tried it out here. Uh, we lost a couple of things, uh, but we gained a couple of things too. So, we're in the main base. What we gained was Corrupted Crossroads. Six. I played it with my Devoid, my Devoid mid range deck, the Mono Blue Eldrazi deck, and now I'm playing it here. Uh, it's pretty good. There's like 16 different cards, or I'm sorry, 14 different cards that benefit from this, and it's a color source. Problem is that in the slot, it was Grand Coliseum. It actually doesn't make red mana for uh, like Burst Lightning or Shrapnel Blast here, so. That might come up. I hope not. So play with Lightfoot Graveyard. And you need a, a, at least a bit of colorless sources. Seven Mountains, five Swamps. Three Tomb and Spear Dragon. This card is pretty awesome. Um, I think like ten colorless sources is enough for like the Bearer Silence, Eldrazi Obligator style. So I think it should be good. Uh, playing Burst Lightning over something like Incendiary Flow. Just because we're fellows is just a thing. So uh, Burst Lightning is getting here. Uh, Ghost Fire Plate, all my creatures either artifacts or the void creatures, so this is gonna cost one pretty much all the time. Uh it's pretty good. Pretty good. That's why to play that's why you want to play a deck like this. And it goes well with Shrapnel Blast, which, you know. Uh, I have twelve artifacts, still a little on the low side, but I think it's just enough. You don't really need to play this early. So pretty good. Uh Bearer Silence, uh, you know, just the uncounterable sort of edict effect for four mana. And it flies, you know, it's got a little evasion. I think it's pretty good. Order of Slaughter gives all my guys haste. 3-2 rate for 2. Really much easier to cost, uh, cast with Corrupted Crossroads, so I'm glad I'm playing this card. <laughs> or especially Corrupted Crossroads, I'm glad that's here. It makes this card just way better. Doctor Sight, um, it's not 2 power, which will affect some things, but it does like block. It blocks well, it comes back bigger, and it's good with Shrapnel Blast. You can like, sack it early if you need to, and then it'll come back and become, it gets a little better. Uh, Eldrazi Obligator. Uh, an another big reason I played this deck in um, Season 5 is that it was just really good at taking Desecration Demons. And I think the decks, or the format's a little more mid-rangey now, so I think I'll probably going to be a pretty good uh, addition here. And all this integration, pretty awesome, sort of just like, kill a creature, and if I have an artifact, I, I have a complete upside. So it's a welcome addition here. New addition here, Dust Stalker. Uh, Pia Nalaro is in this slot. So I'm going to try Dust Stalker. It's another like 5-3 haste for 4, so I just want to get hasty. I think that's what the big benefit of this deck is. It's just like it puts pressure on your opponent very quickly. Along with Fleet, Fleet Wheel Cruiser, I actually really love this card. So almost every creature uh, cruises it except for the Apocrisy, but um, if you sack this, it'll get better. So I really like uh, the Fleet Wheel here. Sideboard, a uh, little all over the place in my opinion. Sifter Skulls for more of the like mid rangey sort of just like heavy removal decks. Nature's Ruin for the green decks. Alternate Price for some zombies. I'm not sure what my zombie matchup, but I think uh, it might be fine. I, might, I block a little better than them. Here's just a little bigger. Uh, Echoing Ruin for just like, random artifacts. I'm not sure what kind of artifacts. Smokestacks. The only one I can really think of that's really impressive here. Silent Tone for graveyard decks. And Filigree Familiar is just for like, I want to block more. Kind of transition to sort of a blocking deck. Um, or just the other aggro decks. Alright, we're playing a tournament today. Uh, not streaming, I'm just going to be recording. Because I'm just Eat. I want to eat a lot of food while I while I play. So yeah, it'd be fun. Um, I'm just ready to attack and block. Really, I've been looking for a good aggro deck. I haven't really thought of things right now, and I think this is in a good position to just try it out. Let's we'll see you in the match round one in a second. All right, here's the round one. The deep void aggro deck. Oh. Uh, not very it's not very aggro, but I do have like all the colors I need. This means like the perfect sort of mana hand. One second, sorry guys.
Okay, anyways, I'll keep his hand. Sorry about that. I'd like to draw a two drop here. <laughs> Ideal. If it wants a blue deck, it's pretty good. So. Obligator. I think we're just gonna play the obligator. I'm not gonna wait for anything to like come around. I think I know what my opponent's playing. I think he's playing this like red sort of rollish deck. Might get killed, but I have another one anyway. I think this guy has haste. Rebuff does not care of uh, the be real, luckily. Oculus? Uh, I think I'm going to be well here. Travels over this curious guy. Not like one mana spell that kills us. I'm gonna start with a forerunner here. Uh, let's see, through this. Although this might get like, I don't know. I don't know what instant speed spell can hit this. Yeah, uh, like a unsubstantiate, anticipate in response. Okay. I have terrible plans for this guy if he the transforms, <laughs> like with taking it and maybe like getting a one mana five five drop spell here. Is burst lightning this guy. Okay, so it's gonna transform the curious on which is fine. Transformed. Curious among this, one of my favorite creatures, all in Petty Dreadful. I draw a land, I'd probably like obligator, take this, crew this, tack. Error sign, that's a good draw. It, like, no matter what, it kills this thing. Because you can't really, you can't counter this thing, because it's on when you cast, which is pretty amazing. Uh, 
so I'll lose the reader. Got to get the crew again. I get to go again. So crew. I love Fleet World Cruiser so much. It just dodges so much removal, and it's just like strong. <laughs> good dude. He's a good dude. Get out of my dreams. Get into my freaking car. Okay, Nigma Drake. That just gets. Okay, that funkulous. Okay, um... Ooh, I have so many plays now. Um... I have like, a billion plays, but I think the best place is the Shrapnel Plus, my, my opponent here. That's probably the most ideal play, killing my opponent. Alright, so just blue-red tempo West. I think this is a reasonable matchup. I like cutting Sentinel Tono, getting Sentinel Tonos in here. Um, first Lightning's probably not as effective. It's not really good against any of the three fours. And play on over here. I don't play Ultimate Price. It's not good against. It's not really good against Drake. It's not super good against a flipped Homunculus. But I think I'll just play like the one burst Lightning for Reach. Uh... Also, Sifter's pretty good. Actually, I might play Sifter. He might play a bunch of removal spells now. I might want Sifter. Or like a Dust Stalker. Let's try that. Ooh, uh, okay hand. I'll keep it. Got a lot of lands. Okay, another another murder. Another murder bolt here, but no artifacts. But it's okay. It still does something. I think about four hundred just died to burst lightning, which is probably in my opponent. Ooh, uh, car. Car's really good. I for runner. This is kind of the perfect hand. You have a red source and a black source. That's all I really want. Everything else is just pretty decent. But if he plays any creature, it's just, it's just gonna die. <laughs> There's only two ways around it, it's just gonna die. Okay, um... I don't have just done anything, so I'm just gonna play this... I'm gonna play the cruiser, it's... Like, really just... Really... Can't rebuff it. I mean, he, if he has, like, a Zolve or something, that's pretty good, or a Rewind. Zolve, that's fine. And then just, like... Put the uh, onus on my opponent here. I don't have like discard spells or anything like that. So, I'd rather just like put it on my opponent to do something. Right to the bottom there. The homunculus. Another Dissolve would be pretty juicy here. I want to play the Sifter. I'm going to get hit with any sort of counterspell here. <laughs> Not? Maybe? I don't know.
This is a pretty neat card. I used, I used to play some aristocrats too. Get even more value out of my creatures dying. Okay. You could just um kill this somehow or bounce it or something. Oh, okay, it lives. It lives. Rune Chainer's Pike. Cool. I got like foreigner attack. Actually really nice. I'll save the the cruiser for last. It's holding up something. It must be holding up like um Re revolutionary rebuff. That's my guess. I don't know if I should have held this to mana, but it doesn't look like I can play anything, but I really can. The pike. I, I'd rather untap with this. I think, I, hold, I think he's holding up rebuff. I think he pretty much has a rebuff in his hand. Yeah, I'm just gonna like. Try to untap here. Oh, I get to play Bearer of Silence. <laughs> this card is too good. Holy smokes, this card is really good. <laughs> it's just uncounterable. It's so amazing. That's why I love playing this deck. A uh, five drop spell. He could power sink this. I think he's trying to power sink for all my mana. Or mind swipe for three. Ooh. That's a good play. Um that's a sick play, actually. I guess I just like let it get countered. I take three, and then I just like let this thing happen. Yeah, I think that's the point. Because the trigger still happens. So no matter what, the thing dies. Pretty great. On a cast trigger, amazing. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous. It's actually so ridiculous. That that's good. How good that is. Back for seven. Alright, my opponent has to draw something. Any creature is just gonna die to the disintegration. Jeez. Whew. Remember why I played this deck before. Alright. Good start. 